We are about four months away from Election Day, and so far the race for the White House is all over the place. President Joe Biden dropped out yesterday and fully endorsed his VP, Kamala Harris. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is hot on the campaign trail. His VP nominee, Senator J.D. Vance, is here in the Commonwealth tonight holding a rally at Radford University, which you're seeing live right now. ABC 13 has live team coverage. Let's get to ABC 13's Noreen Turn first. Noreen, an enthusiastic crowd. Oh, to say the least, they are full of energy out here. They are full of their Trump memorabilia and hats, and they are waiting in this heat. And I'll tell you what, the first people who came got here to the front door at 11 o'clock to wait. They weren't letting people in until 3. And if you can see down behind me how this line snakes around, this is the up way toward the front of the building. And that way, this line was going around. It had two snakes around it before. I think they're making some headway in getting in. And I tell you, the people I talk to are really excited about this. Some of the folks here came, all had similar reasons for why they came out here, and just to hear what he has to say. They know they support Trump already, and being in rural Virginia, they really felt like they connect with, with Vance, who also has rural roots here, and thought that was a really wise choice as running mate to speak to you know, that part of the electorate. And I spoke with one woman. She came because she just wanted her daughter to see history in person. So I wanted to bring my daughter out to make sure she stays involved in politics. And uh, we're Christians, and we just want to be involved, and so that the keep the country and get it going in the right direction. So people uh, were have been lined up. It is six o'clock, and Vance is supposed to speak at six. As far as we know, he is not here yet. He might be inside, and Rachel Brandon can tell you more of that. But these people are willing to wait all this time to get in. Hopefully, all these people at the end will get to get what they came for and that he won't start without them. He is set to take, take the stage at six. All these people waiting all day in the hot sun really want to hear him, so hopefully they all get in. Live in Radford, Noreen Turin, ABC 13 News. The idea of selecting the Democrat Party's nominee because George Soros and Barack Obama and a couple of elite Democrats got in a smoke-filled room and decided to throw Joe Biden overboard. That is not how it works. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance held his first solo rally today in Ohio. Yeah, but as you've heard, he's about to take the stage in Radford soon. ABC 13's Rachel Branding is live inside the Dedman Center for us tonight. And Rachel, a lot of people waiting. <laughs> Mark and Danner, there are tons of people here. It is standing room only here at the Dedman Center, filled with red, white, and blue. Folks are having to go through a security checkpoint before they get in, so they're still flowing in. We've gone through a few speakers so far already. We've heard from Representative Morgan Griffith, Attorney General Miares, even Bedford County Sheriff Mike Miller. Folks are still funneling in. They're making more space here at the Dedman Center to fit as many people as they possibly can. People here are just really excited to hear from J.D. Vance. They're chanting things like Trump and USA and win and fight. They're just really excited to hear what he has to say coming up within the next hour. Uh, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Live in Radford, Rachel Branning, ABC 13 News.